so now there are different ways in which you can classify a turbine like uh, depending on the type of flow like the flow is axial or it is radial or it is, or it is tangential depending on the type of head that is it is using high head low head medium head turbines next is depending on their specific speed so we'll see all that there are different types of classification there's one more way in which the type of energy that the uh, turbine uses for electric uh, the generation of electricity so depending on the type of energy that is available at the inlet so there are different ways let's see each of them individually So the first way of classifying is depending on the type of energy that is available at the inlet. So the two types of turbines that are classified in these two, uh, that is on the type of energy at inlet is uh, the impulse turbine and the reaction turbine. So let's see what an impulse turbine is. Impulse turbine is a turbine in which all the potential energy of the water gets converted into the kinetic energy into the nozzle. So all the potential energy that is the energy that is stored in the dam is converted to uh, kinetic energy. There is no pressure energy left. So impulse turbine is a turbine which uses only the kinetic energy of the fluid to generate power. So that's all about the impulse turbine. Next is the reaction turbine. Reaction turbine is the one which uses both. So in the nozzle, um, the whole of the energy is not converted to kinetic energy. Some part of the energy is still uh, still remains in the form of pressure energy, and there's some part that remains in the form of kinetic energy. So the turbine which uses only kinetic energy for power generation, that is the whole energy of the water is converted to kinetic energy is the impulse turbine and the turbine which uses both pressure energy and the kinetic energy to generate power is called a reaction turbine. So in a simplest we have three turbines to study that is the, uh, the Pelton wheel, the Francis turbine and the Kaplan turbine. So the first turbine that is the Pelton wheel is, a, uh, is an impulse turbine whereas Francis and Kaplan is a reaction turbine. So that was the first way of classifying. Let's let's move on to the next type, uh, next way in which a uh, turbine is classified. So that is depending on the type of flow. So the second type is depending on the type of flow let me list down there are different types in it and then I'll explain each of them. So the first type is uh, the tangential flow. Tangential flow is a flow in which the water comes in a direction which is tangent to the runner. So it will look something like this. So the direction of the jet of the water is tangential to the runner. Hence these turbines are called as tangential flow turbines. And the example is Pelton wheel. Pelton wheel is an example of a tangential flow turbine because when the jet comes out of the nozzle it strikes tangentially to the runner into the buckets. Next is the radial flow. Radial flow is a uh, type of turbine in which uh, the water enters radially. So the diagram looks something like this. So as you can see there is a Pelton wheel and the direction of the jet is radial. Next is the axial. Axial flow turbine is a uh, turbine in which the flow is axial that is along the axis of the shaft. So as you can see I have drawn a circle that is a runner and I have drawn a point which means it is perpendicular to the paper, perpendicular to the paper it is passing uh, actually that is perpendicular to the paper. 
next is the mixed flow in certain turbines the the flow is mixed uh, that means the flow comes radially it goes actually so such turbines are called mixed flow turbines so the francis turbine is a type of a mixed fort flow turbine the new francis turbine earlier days the francis turbines were only radial now the francis turbine there's a lot of development done on francis turbine now it has become a mixed flow the flow enters radially and leaves actually so the example of mixed flow is francis and the example of axial flow is Kaplan. The example of tangential flow is Periton. So the flow, it depends on the direction of flow of water or the jet. If it is tangential, if it is uh, tangential to the runner, it's called tangential. If it is along the radius, it's called radial. If it is along the axis of the shaft, it's called axial. If the inlet is axial, if the inlet is radial, the other uh, exit is axial, it is called mixed flow turbines. So this is the second way in which you can classify. Let's see the third way of classification. So the third way of classifying a turbine is the head available. So the head comes through the height that is the height of the dam up to what height you can create a dam. So depending on the head you can get power. So depending on the type they are, they are classified as in, into three different types low head, high head, medium head. So let's see what low head means, high head means and what medium head means. So this is the number that has been decided. So a low head turbine is a turbine in which the available head is less than 60 meters. A medium head turbine is a turbine in which the head available is between 60 meters and 250 meters. And the high head turbine is a turbine in which the head available is more than 250 meters. So let's see what uh, the turbines that we have in the syllabus. Periton wheel, the Francis and the Kaplan. The which turbine comes in which category. So the Periton wheel comes in this category of high head turbines. Periton wheel requires a very high head to generate power. So the example of high head turbine is Periton wheel. Next is the medium head turbine that is Francis turbine. Third is the low head turbines. So the third is the low head turbines. So the example of low head turbine is Kaplan turbine. So that was the third way of classifying. Next, uh, next, the fourth and the last way is depending on the specific speed. So depending on the specific speed. So let's see what specific speed is first of all. And then we'll see uh, the examples of low specific speed, high specific speed, and medium specific speed. So specific speed is a speed of a geometrically similar turbine that would generate unit power working under a head of one meter. Unit head or you can say. So specific speed is the speed of a turbine which will generate a unit power that is one kilowatt power working under a head of one meter. So that is an example. So that is basically done for comparison purposes. Specific speed is calculated for comparison purposes. So that we'll see in the later half of the chapter the specific speed. The it's a topic that is to be discussed in very uh, the elaborated manner. So we'll see that. So for, as of now, just remember specific speed is a speed of a geometrical similar turbine that would generate unit power working under a unit head. So that is gen done for comparison purposes. So low specific speed, high specific speed and medium specific speed. So the numbers that has been decided is like this.
so low specific speed at the turbines whose speed is less than 60 and the higher ones so the higher ones have speed more than 300 and the medium ones have speed between 60 and 300 so there are the three types low specific speed high specific speed and medium specific speed so the Pelton wheel comes under the category of low specific speed the medium specific speed is the Francis and the high specific speed is the Kaplan turbine So that was all about the classification of turbines, we have seen all the four cat, uh, ways in which they can be classified. So that's it about the topic, we will move on to the next topic now, thank you.